Catching up with Melanie and reflecting upon how many Rebuilding Together projects we've been a part of made me realize just how much we'd seen in the past eight months. I could hardly believe how many things we'd learned, not just about Rebuilding Together, but about our neighbors and our communities. There's no way in the world I could have did all this. All this stuff, I can't believe it. They're painting here for me. I got all the volunteers cleaning here. I can't thank them enough. There's so many acts of kindness out there. When tragedies like this happen, you find out how many nice people there are in the world. I'm so, 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 so grateful. I can't even describe it. I, I couldn't have done it without everybody. It was a day we'll never, never forget. Thank you. My name is Melanie. I'm Maria. Three months ago, Maria and I both decided to volunteer our time helping communities recover from Hurricane Sandy. Follow us over the next few months as we get to know the people, the organizations, and stories behind Rebuilding After Sandy. Let's get to work. Let's go. It had been months since Melanie and I had been together on a project, so we were psyched to reunite in Munaki for Rebuilding Together's annual Kickoff to Rebuild conveniently located in Mel's home state of New Jersey. I'm so jealous that you got to come back for the rebuild in July here at Munaki, but I'm happy to be back today. It's good to have you back. Well, thanks. You know, it's interesting being back here at one of these annual events because it reminds me that just a few months ago we were learning that Rebuilding Together isn't even primarily a disaster relief organization. I know, I was right around here with Brad Siegel and he was explaining how Rebuilding Together goes so much more beyond disaster relief and they just keep working. Rebuilding Together as an organization is national. We renovate homes across the country. This particular project is part of our effort to help those affected by Superstorm Sandy. So while we're not necessarily a disaster recovery organization, the need for our services goes up dramatically when there is a national disaster like Superstorm Sandy, and we get involved in helping families and people in their community. I feel like when natural disasters happen, it's like people know about it right away when it's in the news, you know, when it's happening. And then it's easy to forget, but it's so nice to know that the people behind Rebuilding Together always remember and they're always still helping. And it's a year later after Sandy and they're still out here like doing good in the community. Yeah, and you know, they just got a huge donation from the Red Cross. So now they're gonna be able to continue their rebuild efforts and get people back into their homes. It's just been so cool coming to all these rebuilds and getting to know all the volunteers. And mm -hmm. I just think it's so neat that people are taking time out of their lives. Mm -hmm. And there are just so many different types of people from different parts of the country that have come out. It's not just local people. I remember there was one couple, they retired and they spend their time going around and volunteering. That's what they do. Wow. I just think that's amazing. <laughs> You know what I think is so interesting too is some of the corporate volunteers that we've met that are out here doing the same thing, giving their time and sometimes on a day off, but they're not even getting paid for it, but Rebuilding Together makes it such a supportive and fun day to help the community that you hear these people talk about, you know, they come every year or they want to come back next year. They look or, forward to coming. Yeah, and I just think that speaks so highly of Rebuilding Together. And it brings people together. Mm -hmm. So those people that work together, like, they're getting to know a different side of each other. Yeah. I think that's really cool too, because then they go back into work and it's like they have a new, I don't know, they learn something new about something they work with. You know something else that I learned recently is how much Rebuilding Together goes above and beyond just getting people back into their homes. They're not just, you know, rebuilding houses to the way they were before the storm, but they're actually adding improvements to the homes. They're installing things like handrails for safety and additional staircases and weathering for certain houses that need it and energy efficient lights and, and things like this that are setting the homeowners up to give them a home that they're really going to truly be able to live in and be successful in and be happy in. Even though we've seen so many people happily return to their homes in the years since the storm, we know there are still countless families waiting to return to their normal lives. And we know that Rebuilding Together will be there for them, working to provide them with a safe and healthy home.